Hello, this is Bashar Massad from MKN Group. In this short video, we're going to show you how to use a soft phone on your Android or uh, iPhone device to connect as an external extension to UCM6100 series. That means you can use your cell phone over another Wi-Fi network outside of your network or on 3G or LTE. There are four steps to do that. The first step is to create an extension that you're going to use. So um, in my case, I have created extension 319 and that extension is just regular extension as any other extension. Um, nothing different than any other extension you have um, on your UCM. And um, that's the first step, then create an extension. Next step on your smartphone to download a SIP client or a SIP soft phone. Um, in my case, I'm using CSIP symbol, very easy to use, straightforward. I download it to my uh, Android device. You can use any other um, SIP uh, soft phone. So then after that, um, on the configuration of your uh, soft phone, you need to add your credentials for that extension. So the username is going to be the extension number, the password I use the test1234. And for the server, you need to use the public IP address of your router, or if you have a DDNS, you can use the address of that DDNS, and then you add colon and the port, the SIP port. In this case, I'm using 5080. I found out that if I use 5060 from outside, some routers or some uh, providers, they have an issue with that. So to be on the safe side from outside, we're using 5080 and we'll do the port forwarding on the router to route 5080 to 5060 to uh, the IP address of the UCM. Next step will be go to your uh, router and go to the port forwarding area and make sure you forward port 5080 or whatever port number you use for outside to the IP address of your UCM and internally to 5060. I also use also, I forward also 5060 to 5060 from outside to 5060 inside to the IP address of the PPX just in case you know you want to use 5060 directly. The important one here is the RTP. You need to uh, forward the ITP port, UTP protocol only, ports 10,000 to 20,000 to the IP address of your UCM and the same destination. This, If you do not do this one, it will register, but you're going to have problem, problems with audio. So it's going to be one-way audio or you may not be able to hear anything. This is very, very important step. After doing that on your router, go to the UCM and go to PPX, internal options, uh, actually sorry, you go to the settings, now it's PPX, PPX, um, SIP settings, so PPX, SIP settings, and Go to NAT and AT. Now, the external, use one of these, as either the external IP address or the external host. If you're using a DDNS with a host name, use that host name here. Or if you're using an external IP address, put the IP address of your router, the external one, the public one here. And uh, the external TCP port, I put 5080, but we're not using TCP, just in case you want to use um, TCP, but we're using UDP. Um, the local network address um, here, uh, this is 19, so my my uh, PPX address is 192.168.2.19, so I added 19 here. And then hit save, and uh, you're ready to go all your uh, configurations are ready. So now I'm going to use my smartphone. I turned off the Wi-Fi, so I'm currently using the 
uh, network like you know the cell phone networks using LTE I'm going to dial from my smartphone my extension uh, in, the, in the office which is 3 and now okay now it's ringing so now hi I can hear <coughs> okay and also I'm going to use my uh, phone my desk phone to call my uh, smartphone number which is 319 and I can see my phone is ringing. Hello. So that's it. So thank you very much. My name is Bashar Masad from MKN Group.